Hey there and welcome back to another Miraculous Ladybug Season 5 video. And ever since the end of Season 4 of Miraculous, we've sort of been in a bit of a content drought. It happens a lot during the gap between seasons. No new episodes means that theories begin to dry out pretty quick, no new discussions, no new content, no breakdowns or anything of the sort. And usually this lasts for months on end as we await the first episode of a new season. And it's a bit annoying, but there's nothing to be done about it. This is just the kind of thing you need to learn to deal with when you watch a show. Expect to have a fairly big wait time between seasons. But then, the rumours began to swirl. Rumours that there wasn't going to be a very significant gap between the end of Season 4 and the beginning of Season 5. That we were going to get gloobed and have fresh episodes at the start of June. But still, it was a bit hard to believe there would be that quick a turnaround. Shit, sometimes there's month-long gaps mid-season, just because the episodes aren't ready yet. So how was it logical to assume that they'd be able to get the season ready in such a timely manner? And here I am, eating my words, as we do indeed have confirmation that the first episode is coming in a timely manner, because Gloob, of course, has dropped a trailer. And by golly, it's a big one to start off the season, and they're really going all in. And so today, I figured that's what we could talk about. The trailer, and what we're going to see unfold in that first episode. And of course, what it means going forward into Season 5. And so with all that being said, let's jump into the trailer. So we open the trailer in Gabe's creepy shrine room where he keeps his wife's refrigerated corpse. And of course, he's partaking in one of his favourite pastimes, performing an evil monologue for his dead wife, telling her how he's going to finally stick it to those nasty kids and that they have no chance against the power of all the miraculous he's acquired. He'll show them this time. Also, I did find it quite funny to see all those Kwamis huddled up shitting their pants. It's actually kind of cute. But hey, at least they got to see Nuru again. I mean, how long's it been since they last saw him? Over a hundred years? So in that regard, I guess it's not so bad. We then see Gabe ranting over the phone to Natalie, telling her that now he has all the Miraculouses, he can use the bunny to go back in time to ensure that Emily never gets sick, creating a new timeline where they can all be a happy family. And it feels like when he got all the Miraculouses during Miracle Queen the first time, this should have been the plan he immediately went with. Especially since Ladybug and Cat Noir would have been distracted by Mayura and Miracle Queen. They wouldn't have been able to stop him. <sighs> oh well. But that was back in the days when he was deeply smooth-brained. Season 1 to 3, Gabe, is just so dumb. Like, I'm re-watching at the moment and his plans just suck. Premium trash. He's so bad. He literally snatches defeat from the jaws of victory every single time by the power of his own stupidity. Seriously, some of his plans are legitimate galaxy brain scenarios. He must be operating on a higher plane of existence or some shit, because it just makes no sense to me. But luckily, by season four, this trend had started to settle down, and his plans actually became a lot better, and he was defeated more and more by the power of Ladybug's bullshit plot armor, as opposed to engineering his own defeat. And so to see him go straight for time travel, to just straight up say, nah, I'm not fighting. I never managed to get the Miraculouses anyway, so let's just change time and erase the timeline and start fresh. It's very rewarding to see. Finally, the character's not an idiot. And so, then we see Gabe power up. <laughs> and obviously he ain't Shadow Moth anymore. And I think I read somewhere that they were going to name him Monarch, and I'll be real. His costume is bad, and he should feel bad. Seriously, the guy looks like a rejected Star Wars character. A B-list character cosplay at Comic-Con. The dude's an embarrassment, and he needs to lose simply because of that fact. Anyway, we then see that Bunnix has gone back in time to try and stop all this from happening, and brings Ladybug and Cat Noir along for the ride, where they all battle in the bunny burrow. And of course, since she's a tertiary hero at best, Bunnix takes the owl immediately, so that Cat Noir can finally, at long last, have some sort of significant plot relevance and spotlight as he unifies the bunny and the cat miraculouses. And honestly, some people have said they don't like the suit, but it's really not that bad in my opinion. Yeah, I think they could do without the ears, but otherwise it's perfectly fine. Also, get rid of the pom-pom on the tail. I'm not about that. I'm just not sold on the pom-pom. But I suppose it's better than him having a straight-up cotton tail on his ass, but still. So then it looks like Gabe's going to try and run away from the pair and keeps dropping through various different timelines to try and escape them. Because yeah, he's getting clapped if I'm being honest. Adrian batters him with the bunny umbrella when he flashes back to the repost battle, and he gets battered again in the sewers as he's trying to limp away. It just really ain't going his way. Until he manages to land a kick on Adrian as they're skydiving past the Eiffel Tower and he seemingly escapes. And here is where the big plot twist comes in. Natalie gives him a USB that has the fix for the Peacock Miraculous on it. 
So that means that Emily's never going to get sick in the first place, and Gabe can save her life before she uses it. And this is actually a very good plan. Much better than trying to steal Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculouses from them in the past. I mean, sure, based on this show's time travel rules, it would probably erase them all from existence completely, but somehow I doubt Gabe actually cares as long as one version of him gets to have his happy ending. I mean, honestly, this dude would probably welcome Oblivion at this stage of the game. And then, this led into the craziest reveal of the episode. Gabe with dark brown hair and the flashbacks. Ah! It just looks like a completely different character. His character just looks like the type of dude that would have had blonde hair, in my opinion. For him to actually be a brunette... Well, this has got to be the biggest plot twist in the history of the entire franchise. I'm shaken to my core with this. Like, forget him maybe saving his wife. These are the big moments that I'm here for. But anyway, that's the end of the trailer. And I'll be honest, I wasn't really expecting all that much for the first episode, but it seems like they're going to be going all out from the get-go, and they want to start off the season with a bang. And I'm here for that. And yeah, this probably does end up with them stealing the Bunny Miraculous away from him and preventing him from actually changing the past. I mean, I can't see any other way for this to end. After all, this is episode one. And then obviously he's going to make a new plan using some of the other Miraculouses in the subsequent episodes. But based on this trailer, I'm still pretty excited. It looks like they're working to try and make the episodes more intriguing and cut down on filler. And I mean, they did that fairly well during Season 4, so let's hope Season 5's no exception to that. But anyway, with all that being said, that's the end of the video. And I'd like to remind you that these are just my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What did you think of the trailer? Like it? Hate it? Think it's going to be great? Maybe you think it'll suck? What stood out the most to you? What has you the most excited about this season? I'm curious for your thoughts, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know.